hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Chioma and I make videos on Niger celebrity gist Niger celebrity news hot topics I make videos on true crimes you know past and present crimes and I basically give my own opinion and I give my own um documentary I give my own you know commentaries in, in a very funny way in a very interesting way and I just hope you guys relax and um, listen to this video for today okay so today I wanted to talk about a little Chidubim a six month old Chidubim and Madame Tina so just in case you don't know who Chidubim is Chidubim is the child of an employee to Madame Tina okay so the employee to Madame Tina was not mentioned her name was not mentioned and um, this story just recently happened it happened like two weeks ago from today so whenever you're watching this video it happened two weeks ago from today's date all right so um the mother to Chidibim is a teenager right um she got pregnant out of wedlock and you know she's She's just 19 and she's trying to fix her life around. She's just a poor young girl with no one to support her and she got pregnant out of wedlock. Okay, so she sorted out the help of her madame, that is her employer, Madame Tina, to you know pay for hospital bills and delivery bills in a Nigerian hospital. Okay, so Madame Madame Tina, that is the employer too. Um, the 19 year old which we're going to call mama chidibim just for the sake of this video right so madame tina decided okay i'm going to pay you i'm going to pay the bills and then you pay me back which is like normal so unfortunately for uh, mama chidibim she wasn't able to pay back at the stipulated date and guess what guys guess what guess what this um madame tina did madame tina seized <laughs> It sounds very funny and very very dehumanizing at the same time. Madame Tina seized Chidibim. So Chidibim is now a collateral. And when I talk about this little boy, I'm talking about a one month old baby, a newborn baby. Madame Tina seized Chidibim as a collateral until this young girl is able to pay her. So I guess this young girl, um, she now relaxed. Okay, uh, my baby is. In someone's hand and you know if I was in this situation I wouldn't have done that I would have you know rallied around to get this money because like this is a little baby's hand and a little child can never be well more than it, it would be in the mother's arms I don't know if you get my point so I, 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 I we are assuming that this young teenager was still running around for this sum of money which was not mentioned um, this young woman this teenager which we know as Mama Chidibim was not able to afford this money right in the span of six months okay and we are also assuming that this woman still works for this employer Madam Tina so I guess she was still trying to run running around rally, rallying for this money right and I also assume that this Madam Tina denied access to Mama Chidibim for her son because obviously she's the one in power now and Mama Chidibim is owing her and you know she she was the one in power at this moment so mama children was not able to see her son for the space of six months and you know some people were asking okay i mean didn't you you had to do you, you could have done a lot to just get your child out of the situation but you know um things always happen you always give excuses you always have opinions until until you are the one in the situation right okay so um let's just assume she's trying to get the money but she was not able to complete it and then paraventure she saw her child in mama tina's or madam tina's um, abode and she was wild like this is a very dehumaning I don't even know the adjective I would use to qualify this from this baby being a very apparently healthy bouncing baby boy to this picture that I can't even fathom what it is oh my goodness so she had no option and I mean my mama children she had no option than to alert a social media rights activist harrison guamishu who you know he has an instagram page where a lot of people follow him he helps people that, that have no help basically so with the help of harrison guamishu and the police custody um this child was 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 able to be retrieved from madame tina but unfortunately it was already too late because this child was already looking like he was already looking out dead um, to be very honest this child was admitted to the hospital saint mary's hospital in maryland lagos right and then madame tina was 
hand it over to the police because this is a case of oh my goodness i don't even know what to call it this is a case of man manslaughter manhunt well it it was so unfortunate that um Chidibin could not you know he could not make it in the space of four days he 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 lost his life he kicked the bucket because this baby was already on the verge of of you know of dying and madame tina is still in the police custody anyways i wanted to say something this is a is a case of human wickedness like human i don't even know as in how pained i am when i read this story and i decided to share this is a case of being um blatantly wicked okay there are so many other ways you could have you know gotten your money from this young woman instead of seizing a child that you have no you have you had no plans of taking care of you had no plans of you know a, a bouncing a newborn child oh my goodness the devil i don't even know if the devil did more, so much worse than this this is to show you the capability of how wicked human beings of how wicked we can be and then you just intentionally killed this young child that a young girl carried for nine months in her stomach it's very very dehumanizing honestly um she's still in the police custody nothing else has been said about her but i'm following up the story and if there is anything i'm going to update you guys but right now this is where the story ends and it's a, it's a tragedy honestly anyways um tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section down below please i'd really like to hear your opinion on the story i'd really like to hear your you know just just communicate in the comment section please like this video it really helped me to really go a long way please share it if you care tell your friends about this i really appreciate it you know just support me in this my journey um i really appreciate it and i'll see you next time bye